tea. Very good. Good morning and welcome to episode 1412 of Hard Factor. It is Tuesday, March 5th, 2024. Thank you for cheating on the news with us. 80-ish percent accuracy guaranteed on this podcast. Everything you need to know in 40 minutes or less. But if you need more, go to patreon.com slash hard factor today. I've got an expose on a terrifying and hilarious epidemic striking uh, San Diego. So it's uh, you'll learn Love more. A good epidemic. It's probably not what you expect too, uh, as far as epidemics go. Yeah. Um, unique one. That's good. I, was, I like to be surprised too. I was yeah. thinking homeless people pooping. So that's what I was expecting. It's along those lines, but uh, okay. probably more more scary, but also maybe more funny. We'll see. Um, Mark's got the latest on uh, spring break, Miami 024, uh, the unknown uh, from Wonka's experience in Scotland, uh, Baywatch, and more. Damn right. Movie updates, TV updates, and uh, spring break updates. Yeah. Fantastic. And then uh, Pat's got some pond-related political news and more. Yeah, we're going to be talking about Supreme Court rulings that may affect you, uh, maybe a certain very hot uh, grandmother who's in Congress, whose belongings may or may, not be, may or may not be at the bottom of a pond during a tumultuous divorce. I think you know who I'm talking about. And also a man who had a, a rude awakening when he tried to steal a self-driving car. Talk about Dalia uh, Feinstein, right? Talk about Feinstein. She's so fine. <laughs> So that's why they call her Feinstein. That's right. She's oh, you said grandmother, not great great grandmother. Got it. Exactly. Sorry. Exactly. You know what? I gotta ask. Um, I gotta ask what's going on here because I came home from from a trip to Texas, sure. and on the <laughs> on the refrigerator, there's a, a a coloring book outline of Joe Biden that my son, I guess, colored. Just no context for how that came into our lives. I don't know. You got a Joe uh, Biden coloring book for toddlers? I'm not mad. I just don't. It's a weird confused. one, huh? So. What would you say if it was a Trump what? coloring book for toddlers? I mean, that's not just okay. as weird. Like, it would be, it would be okay. strange either way. <laughs> what What is Biden doing with coloring book? Is he, like, don't eating know. ice cream? Is he, like. Don't know. He's coloring. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna, I'll, I'll update you guys tomorrow. I haven't had a chance okay. to ask. Okay. Cool. So super PACs have so much money that they're sending out toddler coloring books now for it could be season. could be the, could be the school. Don't know. But um, <laughs> the school <laughs> probably it's hilarious. Hey, Kate, did the did the Biden coloring book come from the school? Where did that come from? Um, President's Day at school. President's Day at school. Uh, President's OK, Day. that makes more sense. That doesn't I would have preferred a Taft. Yeah, yeah I, mean, they should have gone. I guess they're trying to teach them the current one, right? It says That's like, right. hey, That's smart, you got to know the current one. <laughs> what color are you going to make the bathtub? Yeah. <laughs> My son did a, about a, the same job as Joe Biden would have done, coloring that thing in. Right. right, yeah. That's what they should do, have him color himself. See if he could do that. Yeah. <laughs> that is Maybe a bridge. <laughs> Maybe a bridge too far. All right. Um. Let's go on to the news, guys. Uh, whips, chains, yo-yos. My grandma driving by on a bicycle, giving me the finger. You never know what you're going to see out on the mean streets of homeless town, USA. Okay, population 653,000 plus and 10,000 and more or more of those U.S. homeless live in the fine city of San Diego, California. Okay, uh, if you ask me, it's my personal favorite for the most beautiful city in the USA. Uh, but aside from being beautiful, the weather allows you to basically roam the streets year round in relative comfort. And you can see why it's named after a whale's vagina with all that going on. San Best Diego. weather by far any California city. Even when I go to L.A., any I get city. cold. Uh, what how, what's the pop? Did you say the pop population of San Diego is under? No, no, no. Or? There's 10,000 10, plus homeless in San Diego. There are 653,000 plus homeless in the USA. Wow. San Diego's weather is so perfect that it makes me hate every San Diegan out of jealousy. It's like not right. fair that people get to live there. But it makes you think that the 10,000 out of the 653,000 homeless in the U.S. that live there are pretty smart, right? Because they picked right. Most, right? I mean, most hot weather places have a higher 
population of unhoused people because I mean <laughs> they're they're homeless, not idiots. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't need a home in San Diego. So nice. San Diego makes me want to be homeless in San Diego. Right. When you're on meth, it really makes you realize how perfect the weather is. Almost, and it never changes. Almost, and it's just you're like, why great would I ever change this for the meth heads out there? Yeah, great ones. Uh, over the, oh, I mean, over the ocean. Patch you need a beautiful. blanket? Hey. No, the weather's perfect again. <laughs> <laughs> I got a fresh bag in this this San Diego sun. Yeah. You're anyway, to, do to me what they did to the Native Americans. Don't try it. Get out of here with that blanket, <laughs> son. <laughs> So there's a new source of danger, though, guys, uh, threatening the good vibe capital of SoCal. Uh, and it comes in an unlikely format. Whips. Specifically. That's why, that's why you did the Tommy Boy thing. That's right. Specifically, homeless men wielding those whips or women, who knows, uh, and then cracking them loudly in public places. Uh, you know, just to it's an intimidation tactic, basically. It, you're essentially saying that this is the machete of the West of the right? West. We know that ho yep. hobos down in Florida, they can, you know, it's part of the kit. You get a machete, right. machete and a bindle out there. They get whips. Okay. Now a real yep. whip is expensive. So they must be fashioning some whips. No, whip. Mark, some of them have, have, uh, you know, somehow commandeered a real bull whip. Okay. Now, some of them are fashioning their own bull whip out right. in the street right. and still intimidating people with it. Nonetheless, uh, Thanks to regular Shane in the Discord server for bringing this epidemic to our attention. He's a, a, a San Diego native out there. Local. Yeah, he's a lucky son uh, of a bitch. Yeah. 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 So let's take a deep dive down the Reddit history, shall we? Uh, two years ago, this is what came up. Uh, Hi, hello, neighbor Rooney posted on Reddit San Diego, and they asked, bullwhips. Random question, but does anyone know the legality of cracking a whip in public? Hmm. And that's two years ago, mind you. And so there was a lot of good replies about Devo, you know, whip it good, whip it. Yeah. And then there was also the other Kyle replies. Are you asking because of the guy who walks around Hillcrest cracking a whip? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think <laughs> yes, so. they are. <laughs> Me think <And> then, so. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and then affectionate spirit 85 uh, replies. We just saw a man standing in the street, cracking one in front of the homeless village in El Cajon. And we're wondering the same thing. Now that's two years ago. Okay. There's homeless men all over the city. Two years ago, cracking whips in different neighborhoods. Uh, and the epidemic was ignored largely uh, until now. It was only given a chance to simmer and get even more spicy, okay? So just seven months ago, Final Vermicelli 2207 uh, posted, homeless population carrying whips. And this guy is a driver uh, for the San Diego Free Ride Service, and he, so he drives all over town. He's alarmed by all the whips being used by homeless people all over town. He said he outright saw them cracking their whips at, you know, citizens, uh, San Diegans, uh, on 114th Street. Wow. So so wow. that's seven months ago. I mean, it's it's escalating. Multiple basically. people cracking the whips. I mean, yeah. like, what do you? What's the goal there? It's right? a threat. Like, that's the threat. Well, stay off my be, stay off my turf. Stay yeah, off my threat. Turf. Like you're getting too close. Like when a cobra yep. sticks out its flaps, kind of thing. Yes. Or yes. rattle rattles its rattle. Rattlesnake rattle rattles its rattle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or exactly. it could be a threat. Like, give me what's in your wallet now. Unless you want the lashings. Well, both of those. It's it's whatever. It's a threat that leads to, to an advantageous situation for, for the whip holder. Right. So you, you're either going to pressure somebody into a stupid decision and then maybe make some money off of it. Or you're going get, to get to keep your corner and nobody's going to fuck with you. Yeah. I'll tell you what it is, Pat, is something you don't want to find out what the intention is either way. Right. So, yeah. Is it hard to crack a whip good? You like, got to practice a little bit. Right. Not if it, that's not if that's the, your only job. As a homeless person, right? Do you think you'd you'd, They'd you'd probably get good at it? You'd take sure. it up. You'd, you'd be okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. So check this out. Seven months ago, Shoe Horse Thirteen replies to that and said, uh, basically, the homeless in Phoenix had already been doing this well before San Diego, so they probably <laughs> migrated that trend over there to San Diego. Others uh, reported that my very own uh, Reno, Nevada, may have been part of the bad influence too. Uh, and and then at the same time as all that was going down. Beercules is back 
seven months ago, snagged oh. these photos of who's being called the whip man at second and sixth Avenue, San Diego. And now their post on Reddit. Thing. Yeah. And they, you I mean, see him right there. So look at him with the whip. He got, he got pictures of him. He's just strolling along with the whip, intimidating anybody who may pass him by. Uh, and Beercules is back posted with that photo. This person is walking around, cracking a whip and hitting cars. He started yelling at other pedestrians, blah, blah, blah. So it's a real epidemic. Homeless people just with whips everywhere in San Diego. Watch out. You think there's like a really cool homeless person with a whip? They'd call him Cool Whip. That's a oh, great name. Cool. Also, if you're involved. Whip Man sucks as a nickname. Whip King better. Whip God, right? Whip, whip um, God with right. a W A W D. Yeah. Yeah. Whip, whip God. God be sick, bro. Whip God. <laughs> yeah. Indiana Bones. Something like that. Because <laughs> he's a skinny, lot of Indiana. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's tough to find a meal. Yeah. Indiana Jones and the Legend of the Lost Shopping Cart was was a lot of the Reddit comments. Um, and now, guys, it's it's heating up even more. Okay, just this week, uh, Reddit user Blue Berry, Blue Dash 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 Berry, uh, Bear though, Rar, you know, so you maybe it gives you a clue. Uh, they post on uh, Reddit San Diego homeless whip guys problem. I was wondering if there's a way to make a petition to stop the homeless people in San Diego, specifically Al Cajon, to stop carrying whips. There are multiple of them day and night cracking these whips, and they sound like gunshots. They don't stop. It's every day, all day since last year. They do this near where people live and disturb the peace and are recklessly hitting things while people are driving uh, and walking by. Okay, I've tried. Uh, having the police make contact for noise, but it doesn't matter because they always come back the next day and night cracking their dumb whips, okay? I know it sounds silly, but the sounds these whips make are very loud and sound like gunshots. Let me know what I can do, please, or who I can contact to make Have this Have you ever happen. heard a whip cracking? Yeah. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this is, you think they're using it as like a hootie who, like to communicate? Like... Can, right, whip they, God's coming. Point. We better clear out. Yeah, right. <laughs> the, like, how many was God. that? Who, yeah. You know Morse code. Right, they're like communicating with the whips. There's a new whip batch God's of meth in. Laws are now the laws of the streets of San Diego. Basically, whips have taken over the streets of San Diego. He's you can't go anywhere. I, yeah. I love how that guy thinks. Um, the way to stop homeless people is a petition. Well, right, that's what that's what they listen to. So we're gonna get a petition going, and I don't want to be an asshole. I'm yeah. I'm not great at identifying gunfire, like. There's gunfire outside our house every night, and Kate has to be like, no, that's firework, that's gunfire. But does a whip really sound like gunshots or not? Yeah, if it was loud enough. Like it a, hits the asphalt. Yeah, like, yeah maybe, like, maybe like an Old West hit. six shooter, but like, does it sound like Yeah, like You'd have to be really good at whipping. Like you couldn't, not a shitty whipper can't make you think it's a gunshot. That just sounds like a pile of rags. You yeah, know? counterpoint, but, these guys are great at whipping. Yeah, right. They pra like Mark said, they practice all day. It's like a fly fisherman who's got nothing but time on his hands. I mean, they've got the whole the wrist technique down. Anyways, what do you guys think? Do you think they should make a law? Because the petition, I, I think, Pat, is to to then make a law to outlaw whips, whip cracking. Hey, what's freedom? They will, you know. Right. I mean, it, people got to be able to crack whips. It's America after all. Look, so what do you guys think? There, should they? Is there a time these homeless guys ever get tired and we can just take their whips? <laughs> They seem yeah, to be up luck. at all hours. Good luck. Yeah. yeah, there's there's they have definitely different crews, you know, night crew, morning crew, and right. to Blueberry's chagrin, they have meth as well. So uh a lot of things going for the whip crews to keep the whips cracking. Uh don't don't really know. I mean, without making a law and busting everybody, I'm not sure how, the, Damn. how they'll get rid of the whips. That's a real problem. <laughs> yeah, you can pick a bull whip up for 20 bucks. Really? That bullet probably sucks. Probably like looking like forty bucks. You're gonna get like a pro. You can get yeah, a pro solid, bullet. solid yeah. whip. Yeah. They're way more expensive. Good nine footer or something like that. Um. Anyways, Turtle Diaz, another redditor, he's got a decent suggestion, or he or she. They say, uh, bring your own whip and challenge them. Winner takes the other's whip, and uh, so that's what it's talks. gonna take. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Vigilante whip man is gonna have to you know man up and take out a uh, street whip man. So yeah, it's a whip off. Yep. Whip trial by combat. We'll see how it shakes out. Legislation whip trial by contact co by combat in the end. Uh, but be aware, everybody, it is whip season. And 
the more you know, that's good. You know that. Also, did you know that even if you have a 401k for retirement, you can still have an IRA? You can. Robinhood has the only IRA that gives you three, a 3% boost on every dollar you contribute when you subscribe to Robinhood Gold. But get this, now through April 30th, Robinhood is even boosting every single dollar you transfer from other retirement accounts with a 3% match. That's uh, that's right. No cap on the 3% match. Robinhood Gold gets you the most for your retirement thanks to their IRA with a 3% match. This offer is good through April 30th. Get started at Robinhood.com slash boost. Subscription fees apply. And now for some legal info. Claim as of Q1 2024 validated by Radius Global Market Research. Investing involves risks, include, including loss. Uh, limitations apply to IRAs and 401ks. 3% match uh, requires Robinhood Gold uh for one year from the date of the first 3% match must keep Robinhood IRA for five years. The 3% matching on transfers is subject to specific terms and conditions. Uh, Robinhood IRA available to us customers in good standing. Hell yeah, it is. Um, okay. The Willy Wonka themed debacle of an event in Scotland that will covered and did an update on last week just keeps getting crazier yeah. uh they identified the guy behind it which will cover it as well uh it wasn't dick bone or some other asshole the head of the billy, cool. Billy, billy cool billy cool right and several of the people that worked the event including the guy that was hired as willy wonka have given like interviews or done like tiktoks being like i i didn't know what i was signing up for we had no idea it was gonna be so bad and none of us got paid and you know that's but all happening it, it was an event though right like they wouldn't have seen that it was just a bad one. We wouldn't have seen the photo that Oompa Loompa that went viral had. They had the, the space rented out. Yeah, right. They had yep. they had the space rented out. Was it a total con? Yes. Yeah. Now it's being reported by Bloody Disgusting, a major horror movie and content media company that Scotland based film production company Cal Caledonia Pictures has a movie titled The Unknown that is already in development. They've already announced it and it's all around the Willy Wonka event in Glasgow. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. They're going to wait. It's a horror movie based on that event. That's right. Uh, the unknown, I guess, is one of the characters that was just creeping kids out in the nearly yeah. empty warehouse. Uh, there's a picture of the unknown um, that had the, no inspiration from the Willy Wonka franchise. The unknown was uh, off off script. That was an ad lib. Um, <laughs> it's just a creep in a silver mask that the oh. internet dubbed the unknown. Uh, it it, it yeah, reminds me of that the producer that... Uh... That uh, was trying to work the giant mechanical metal spider into every movie that he did. He like started with like a Superman draft with Kevin Smith, and then ended up in yep. Wild Wild West. Yes. Why don't Whoever. we just add a giant spider? Yes, I do remember that. So we got the Wonka <laughs> yeah. stuff, and then also uh, let's get the unknown in there. I got so the I booked the unknown. What character has been working on for decades? <laughs> Why um, you keep trying to work the unknown into our events? The man? unknown. So. Mark, are, are you going to play a video of the unknown? Because I am. It's the maybe okay, the okay, funniest perfect. fucking thing I've seen in my entire life. Um, here, this is this is the unknown. I might have to play it twice because it's quick, but this is. I dare you to find a funnier four seconds than this clip. What is that? It's the unknown. No. <laughs> yeah. No. What is that? It's the unknown. The unknown comes from behind a mirror and freaks out the, the kids. The unknown. No! Yeah, it's just a man in a mask uh, from behind a, a mirror. Oh, it's a woman. Okay. Yeah, well, she's gone to TikTok too and been like, person, I had no idea man. what was going on. Dude, I guarantee that's bullshit. And she was one of the event organizers. And she's like, for sure. Uh, okay, I'll do it if I can uh, perform as the unknown. The unknown yeah. was high in the food chain of the Willy Wonka experience. It's Billy for the Cole's girlfriend. Right. The, 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 like the unknown's not part of the Willy Wonka experience. Like, why is the unknown there? The unknown makes people absolutely love the unknown. Will you know that? Well, it's it's not even scary. You heard the girls like eh. the nobody no. screams. The unknown is not terrifying. I got to know. I got it's just it like it's just an idiot standing behind a mirror in a mask. Look, they get to this corner of the empty warehouse. Then this happens. What is that? It's the unknown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, it's it's, <laughs> just it's a disappointing candy. Come on. display. Yeah, I mean, like you're just no. I mean, like, what do you say if you're the the parent in that situation? You're just like, what the fuck is that, buddy? Yeah. Like, well, <laughs> the unknown like, wasn't even hiding. That's my concern. No, <laughs> the unknown was clearly 100 percent visible before right. the unknown's cue. Yeah, who's right? that behind the mirror? Right, the unknown. sitting there standing a mirror or yeah. holding a mirror standing yeah. in front of them. Right, 
So I guess the unknown is the main villain of this horror movie that's coming out. It's about uh, it follows a renowned illustrator and his wife who are haunted by the tragic death of their son, Charlie, uh, and desperate to escape the, their grief. The couple leave the world behind for the remote Scottish Highlands where an unknowable evil awaits them. And somehow oh. it's tied into that shitty um, Willy Wonka event somehow, or just maybe they rip the character from the Willy Wonka event and it's going to be some sort of you know horror thing. Yeah, it wow. looks like there was a movie called The Unknown from 1927. Similar mask, maybe? Interesting. Which, that's public domain at this point. Oh, yeah. yeah. Live comment from B. Fox on YouTube. I've got a journal I've been trying to hook you guys up with that works for Bloody Disgusting. Nice. Wow. We should. Hell oh, yeah. cool. Well, hey, can fun. you tell them to stop leaking Texas Chainsaw Massacre rumors um, before we get to leak them to the press? Because they <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're just doing Every their job. They're just really doing their job. They're Bloody Disgusting. Good. I love Bloody Disgusting. Sure. Go, Pat, Pat I do love Bloody Disgusting. Best friend. This is girl's like best friend. I go, I go check out their content all the time. They have the best reviews on horror movies. Uh, Caledonia Pictures is located just miles from where the event took place, and they said they are excited about the film, which they think can release later this year. It's coming out in 2024, so they're moving on it. In other film and TV news, Baywatch is being rebooted and will be on Fox. It's coming from showrunner Laura Olson, who did the 90210 reboot, which I did not see. I watched the original, heard it, the reboot was terrible. Uh, a Netflix skating drama spinning out, which I also did not see, but who cares? It's Baywatch. Just cast, just cast the next Pam Anderson, the next. Who's she gonna be? I mean, there's only one. And Jasmine wants Leith, her. Sydney Sweeney. There's the next it. Carmen Electra, and make half the show in slow motion, and we're good. Get Sydney That's Sweeney. Right. Give her whatever she wants. Give her whatever she, she wants. I mean, who's they? They just have this horrible showrunner. They don't have any actor or actress names Why yet. You say she's but, horrible. Well, she's done one reboot was pretty trash. It's hard out there for a lady showrunner. Well, just saying the Chandra, last three. Chandra Rhymes or whoever crushes it. Shondaland. Yeah. Yeah. She's really good. She's tight. They should have got her. There's one. But, yeah. I don't know many men for showrunners. I don't know. Why I'm even not, make the follower of showrunners? But... Why even make the announcement? The person who did the 90210 reboot is going to do like that's just it's bad for you. Like it just go ahead and just go with the actors and actresses again slow motion hot chicks. We're fine. Uh, lastly, I'd like to tell you guys about Miami's 2024 breaking up with spring breakers movement you heard about this the city of miami and some of its locals are fed up with rowdy spring breakers coming into the town and messing up their pretentious luxurious city that is 100 funded from tourism we want specific tourists mm -hmm. um yeah get I mean, a load I'm of this so glad we don't we don't have to go to spring break anymore i hate it every minute of it <laughs> fucking hate really it. i loved it hated it love spring break come on man you gotta get laid you know what i mean? I hate that was that's what i hated about it it's like not getting laid i'm just like on the on the list of dudes to bang at spring break where every dude is showing up to bang i'm real low on the totem pole and it was just awkward. oh yeah look you gotta well, shoot you gotta for sixes not tens like... well i don't want to show my ass because we're we're live streaming but i got a tattoo on my ass at spring break that was awesome was that, there thing. you go well you're not getting laid why don't you just go get a tattoo on your ass you know that's right without you made lemonade well Hang out with your boys, play play a little game, football, t tackle football. On the, we tried on, that. The beach. That ended up a, a, us up in Orlando one year. Where spring break my life. It's just, it's just not for me. But get a get a load of this fucking commercial that the city, panhandle it. The you city made. Trash. The city of Miami released this commercial to warn would be spring breakers. Okay. Hey, we need to talk. This isn't working anymore. And it's not us. It's you. We just want different things. Our idea of a good time is relaxing on the beach. Hitting up the spa or checking out a new restaurant. You just want to get drunk in public and ignore laws. Okay. Do you even remember what happened last March? What? That was our breaking point. So we're breaking up with you. And don't try to apologize and come crawling back. This isn't safe. So we're done. And just so you know, we're serious. This March, no you can expect things like curfews, bag checks, and restricted beach access, DUI checkpoints, $100 parking, and strong police enforcement for drug possession and violence. Okay. Whatever it takes, because it's time to move on. Maybe we can talk when you're done with your spring break phase, but until then. <laughs> Fuck off, man. We just go to fucking Panama City. That's the worst commercial I've ever seen. Who the that fuck? Was read such that such a that? herpes commercial vibe too. Yeah, like was that terrible. was that had Valtrex, just just Valtrex vibes coming on. I it was definitely that. a corporate. Like, yeah, somebody who makes Valtrex commercials made that video for them. 
I hate that commercial. Now I get it. Spring breakers have been murking Miami of late culminating in last year when they got a train ran on them and there were like riots in the streets with thousands of drunk spring breakers mad that places were closed at night. Uh, there were 573 arrests and two deaths. Not great, but I will say that commercial makes me go from feeling slightly bad for them to wanting to go party in Miami and piss off the Miami locals. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. I've only been to Miami like once in my life and I'd, Probably not going to go back after seeing that. Before oh. they started dropping the actual like reasons not to come, I was thinking if I was an enterprising college student and I once was, I would absolutely be organizing a Miami only spring yep. break. I hope there social are social movement doing it. Yeah, no, I really hope there are. So does internet commenter, um, damn it, Kevin underscore eleven, who says, "I hope every spring breaker there goes to Florida this year and decides to move and live there." Um, <laughs> Look, they released this video in March, and guests who probably already rented out all the hotels and made travel arrangements. Tens of That's thousands right. of spring breakers. It's happening in two weeks, you idiots. What well, are right. you doing I releasing mean, this now? They can't change it. They're, it's just a threat. It's like right. cracking the whip, right? They're cracking the whip. Miami built their own whip and they're with the with the Pfizer commercial and they're cracking it. Right. Sounds like gunshots. But yeah, I to to the contrary there, Mark. The pre-planners are not the kids that are making problems. It's the it's the procrastinators who figure it out last minute. Those are the kids who are creating issues. So yeah, I understand I, why. I agree. Why why it's still worth it for them to put it out? You know what would have been way funnier is if they had just said go to Panama City instead. That would like, have been very funny. That would have been and way funny. It turns like, out Panama City paid just for done it. that. Yeah, Pan- by, <laughs> sponsored by yeah. Panama City. <laughs> yeah, that's what they should have done. Like. They're idiots. Like now they just look like tight assholes. And like now, and you know, yeah, I know it's a tough week, but just stay indoor locals. It's you that funds your fucking city. You're a tourist city. So shut the fuck up. Uh, Anyways, get ready to see a hilariously salty reaction coming out of Miami when they get skull fucked again this spring break, because guess what? People are going to Miami for spring break. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Yeah. Anyways, Florida. Great, great spring break break state. I mean, yeah, it's Got to the, do at least one. It's the one. I hated it, but Panama City. <laughs> I mean, it was it was terrible. I fucking hated every minute of it. Um, all right, uh, guys. <laughs> the, Vincent Maurice Jones, thirty three year old, lives in Los Angeles, uh-huh. and he saw a Waymo car. You know about Waymo? That's a self driving car company. They're the uh, numero uno, the king dingling, the uh, whip god, if you will, of self driving car technology companies. And um, they're all over L.A., apparently. And uh, Vincent saw a Waymo car drop off a passenger on uh, Main Street, north of 1st Street. That's near mm-hmm. City Hall, downtown L.A. It's about 10.30 p.m. on Saturday. And he said, I, I want that car. So he got in it, and he tried to steal it. But the problem is, guys, it was a self-driving car. So kind of like a bait car situation, I imagine, except they gave him a shot wasn't shortly after he was trying to find how to operate it, which he could not. Someone from Waymo uh, got on the line and said, hey, get out. Stop trying to steal our car. And he said, <laughs> I love a challenge. It was like, yeah, like seeing the spring break commercial and still going to Miami. He continued to try to drive that fucker away. <laughs> Don't tell uh, me what to do. But he really couldn't figure it out because uh, the Waymo person was able to call the LAPD and then get them out there, and he was arrested for Grand Theft Auto. Um, yeah. I don't, do you guys think that's fair? Right? Like, can they even be sure he was trying to steal the car? Right? Yeah. Like, are you sure, though? I mean, like, you could just get in it, I assume. It's not like uh, you're, getting like, in it's probably the lock. bad. Getting in it. I mean, it's not your car. Thing. Yeah. And if you stay in it till the cops get there, it's probably enough. Yeah. Yeah. But it's also like a new technology, right? Like, maybe he was just super interested in it. Sure. It, it didn't move. Criminal mischief. That's what I say. That's what's fair. Criminal mischief. I mean, it doesn't have itself? a pedal, right? Like, it's not. They, it, it, he can't drive it. Exactly. That's why he shouldn't get charged with grand theft auto. You the car, the car called around. Over, so like, come here. Get, hey, you. Get, come here. Hey, hey, you want you want this? You can't have me. It. Come on, come on. Send I bet me. you want a, this car, but I bet you couldn't. You're, you're probably not smart enough. To give it a try. <laughs> yeah. It's a car. I know it drives. I know I can drive. I know I, I can dri- get it somewhere. I want to drive. Uh, I want to do the driving for you. I want to drive you around. Get in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot of fun. If yeah. you can get me going, yeah, which exactly. you probably can't. Um, 
it's guys, a, all right, let's talk, let's challenge. let's move it over to politics real quick. Uh, Supreme Court right ruled nine zero decision that Trump uh, can not be kicked off the ballot in Colorado. So there you have it. Uh, Unanimous. Well, it's amazing that 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 anybody put that forward at all. Like why why do it? Because you knew uh, it was going to be unanimous from the Supreme Court. You did. I mean, the, the, argu the argument was super interesting. I listened to all the arguments. And I will say this. I will give it to Trump's lawyer. Uh, he mopped the floor. He mopped the floor with the uh, the state's lawyer. Like, absolutely great arguments. But, you know, hey, it was a good argument. It was an interesting exercise. If you know anything about the 14th Amendment, it literally could not happen. Because, of course, it's going to be a, a unanimous vote. Because that's not how you invoke it. It was a Hail Mary uh, those it, usually don't work it, out. It's a little bit that well, there was there was definitely a function of the um the, the the main gist of the Supreme Court's argument is if they allowed this to happen, then that would affect all other ballots theoretically because of the Electoral College right. right one would have an effect on many, and states' rights should not extend past their own states. Right? Like you can make a decision right because the Fourteenth Amendment has to be enacted by but has to be invoked by the federal government, not a state government. It, it was it, it makes no sense. I don't know much about anything, and I'm definitely not a big Trump guy, but I knew that was like not the right play. Yeah, you know, it so was it was a it. distraction. It made no sense. I don't know how much money they spent on it, but it was a waste. Yeah. No. Well, here we are. All right, other fun politics stuff, guys. Lauren Boebert, the hottest member of the House, easily. She's been having a little issue with her man, Jason Boebert. You remember him? The guy that exposed himself to some teens at a bowling alley just a couple weeks before Tyler Bobert was born. You know, the one yep. that was breaking into cars last week. He was stressful. Took know? his buddy's ability to TIG weld, at least. Don't know about MIG when he crashed the car while they were drunk driving. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, Lauren and Jason been having some issues. And Lauren took out a temporary restraining order on Jason. And I guess, apparently, she had a campaign event, right? And just quick backstory. Bobert uh, was essentially looking to get crushed. So she changed, she carpet bagged, changed her district in Colorado from where she was to a more conservative leaning district recently to try to save her hopes for reelection in the House. And uh, I guess she had a, a pretty small event, like a coffee shop speech situation going on, um, but she didn't make it, right? Um, instead, her campaign manager showed up and did the speech for her. And uh, in a recent interview with the Washington Post, she explained why she hadn't made it, and it was because she had to drive to a pond that her and Jason once shared, mm. because when she asked Jason where her stuff was, he said, it's at the bottom of the pond. That <laughs> pond I banged you at. Mm -hmm. That's where that it is. That pond I used to slam you at, now that's where all your stuff is, lady. If you were a show or not a grower, a bowling alley would be a great place to expose yourself because you could say, say that you could say something along the lines of a let's get this seven to a ten split those legs. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> yeah, that's a great one. Right? Um, that's true. That's very true. Also, just everyone at a bowling alley has lower standards, I feel like. They're, sure. Right. Um anyway, she got to that pond, guys, and don't worry, her stuff wasn't in the pond. Jason with a Y was just bluffing and put all of her stuff in storage. So no oh. harm, no foul there. But, but he has been making suicidal threats. So I hope Jason's okay. And I hope Lauren works. He's not out. okay. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. With yeah, the no, fake pond uh, throwaway and the suicidal threats. It's pretty, he's probably not okay. He's not going to do hotter than Bobert ever. So he's never going to no. do hotter than Bobert. She he gets, got in early. He's so upset he's throwing shit in ponds. It's... Got in early, anchored it. Yeah. Um, and now he's, I mean, like, he, she must have cheated on him, right? Because you don't throw a lot your, of times you don't throw your spouse's stuff in a pond. Uh, related I mean, you to saw the OTPHJ yeah. at the Beetlejuice. I mean, she yeah, she's, she's on she's, first date. She's giving hand jobs in, in arenas. So like, right. And on that note, yeah, I she's think sexual being. I do think she I is. should bring it up. I don't know if she knows that she was doing that, because in that same Washington Post interview, she said, I don't know why everyone got so up in arms about me dancing. I was just dancing. They should see me in church. Hand and dancing whoa. to that, Lauren. I say no. It was the over the pants hand job and the uh, vaping uh, near a pregnant lady. And if you live near Lauren Bobert in D.C. or Colorado, you got to go sit next to her in church now. Here in that, hundred yeah. percent, right? Yeah. Because no, this, this <laughs> Sunday there's just dudes lined up next to her. You have to dance right to sit next to her. You just put the collection plate on your junk. It's your turn. Wow. Um. Anyway, it's be a service to remember. Yeah, that's the uh, yeah. having a pond. He has risen. <laughs> having a pond in a um, in a contentious breakup is it like a great 
card to have because it's tough for like a normal breakup like your stuff's out in the front lawn okay sure she's gonna be able to see it's not pretty quickly but a pond if you're mad at your partner and you're breaking up like they're gonna maybe have to drag the pond right they're gonna have to maybe who's the some scuba poor, gear right who's the poor guy that that bobert duped into actually scuba diving into the pond for any uh, guy 70 guys jumped in the pond <laughs> right exactly <laughs> We followed you from church. No practice on scuba. They just went for it. <laughs> Line of trucks. Is there something up. down there you need? 20 men drowned that day. <laughs> Don't worry, Lauren. I got it. That Jason. I got, oh. I got your stuff. I got your stuff. What a jerk. What a jerk. Am I right? I'd never do that to you. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, that's the show, guys. Um, we have a really fun surprise on tomorrow night show um so i mm. highly recommend you tuning in i can't say what it is but there's going to be something very fun that's going to take place let's um, do it spread the word just putting that out la, la, there la, 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 la. um let's get a big attendance can't say more than that <laughs> Ooh. yeah Ooh. so get out there and have yourself a great fucking day